Welcome to a brand new vlog on my channel. Never start my vlogs in the evening, but um, this vlog is going to be a special one. I usually never start my vlogs in the evening, but today is going to be an exception because it is Friday night and I am getting physically and mentally prepared for tomorrow because tomorrow I have my very first big roller skating competition. It's going to be California State Games and I'm going to compete as an artistic inline skater and um, yeah this competition is like my first main meet of the season for all of you guys that missed this because I feel like I haven't really talked about it in details on my youtube channel genuinely never thought that i would ever be a competitive skater again i used to compete as a kid and like teenager in figure skating but i never competed on a high level um back home in the netherlands i always thought i would be way too old to even compete but here i am <laughs> and um my goal for this season is to make it to nationals i've been training really hard this whole week I've been training every day. Um, my club or my rink is called Moonlight Rollerway in Glendale and I have the most amazing coach. So aside from doing social media, working as a photographer, a lot of my time has been going into skating and it's so funny to me how something that was just a hobby that I picked up because I felt so depressed during a pandemic ended up becoming a career. So yeah, let's let's get started with some food because I'm hungry. I had a whole day of shooting content in Venice Beach as well as teaching a class. So I am tired. <laughs> okay guys, I wasn't planning on doing this right now, but I just got a very exciting delivery. As you can see, it's all pretty and pink and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So let's do a little, an boxing slash try on haul right now. Can we take a moment for how cute this little skirt is? I am obsessed. So this skirt and the other two pieces that I'm going to show you are from the brand Zayago and uh, you can order it through Amazon. I will also have them linked in my Amazon storefront and I don't know about you guys but recently most of the shopping that I've been doing has been through Amazon and I just find it so incredibly convenient especially when it comes to clothing shopping because they just have the cutest things for really good pricing and I just love that the return policy is like super flexible too. So anyways, like I mentioned, this skirt is from Zayago and this part of the video is also kindly sponsored by them. So first of all, this skirt comes in a bunch of different colors but I love this beautiful like rosy pink shade. Also, this skirt is perfect for skating because it has built-in shorts so I cannot wait to wear it when I go to Venice Beach on a cute skate date. But yeah, I think it's really, really adorable. I love this like little stripe detail, kind of gives me schoolgirl vibes. Did I also mention that it has pockets? So guys, the next item that I got, also pink as you can tell, is this really cute shirt or blouse. It has this like waffle, like stitch which is super comfortable and I love wearing tops like this in the summertime especially because the sun kind of burns me quite quickly I always need to bring like a cover up with me but I want something that looks cute and works with my outfit so this right here is actually also perfect for Venice Beach um, yeah I love the baby pink color I think it is so adorable I also like the length in the back and the slightly oversized fit I actually went with my regular size so it does fit slightly loose but I think that that is like so cute last but so not least is this a most adorable PJ set like oh, so cute can we take a moment for this? I live in PJ sets like this. It's a little cold outside today, but otherwise I would be wearing this inside my house. I just feel so cute and put together when I wear a matching satin um, PJ set like this. And I also love shorts over long pants. I think the pink color is just perfect and um yeah i always get a lot of questions from you guys where all my cute pj sets are from so this is definitely a very 
very good find um, and so I will have linked this set as well as all the other items that I showed you from Ciego in the description box down below and you can just shop them easily through Amazon which is so convenient also this PJ set comes in tons of different colors I also have a discount code for you guys don't forget to use that and that's it that's my little intermezzo for my competition vlog but I really wanted to show you guys the items because I got so excited seeing all the pink going to make some food <laughs> okay so I'm gonna start first with making my food for tomorrow just so that I have it done because I feel like after I make food I usually get into a food coma <laughs> so yeah let's meal prep first and then make dinner my snacks for tomorrow all are ready So guys, I just finished my meal prep. Uh, it might not look that appetizing, I don't know, uh, but I love kind of like stews like this. Um, so I just have a lot of grains with veggies and like a tomato base. Um, and yeah, this definitely keeps me full without it being like too heavy, but I do like to eat some form of carb because I'm gonna have a very long day and I'll just nibble on this throughout the day instead of eating like tons of different snacks because I made the mistake last time to do that. And then this is the smoothie. I did blueberries, spinach, uh, raspberries and bananas and some beets in here and I'm just going to probably do... I'm debating if I'm gonna make a water base or a milk base. I think I'm gonna do an oat milk base um, and I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and then yeah tomorrow I can blend this up so it's all fresh. This is dinner for tonight. I have a Japanese style fried rice with seaweed, baby corn, edamame, carrot and uh, like sesame oil, soy sauce, and coconuts aminos. Usually I add tofu or tempeh, but I don't have the energy. <laughs> so this is fine. And then I have some coconut water. Okay, guys, we are kind of on schedule I guess I just finished with my laundry I need to pack all my makeup and hair because I'm all going to do it on location this right here is my luggage setup luggage as well as my duffel bag are from Monos I used this set last time that I had my competition and it was so convenient it's also really cool that your laptop or anything you honestly want to put in this front pocket fits in here even though it's still a hard shell. This right here are my two costumes. It is almost 11 p.m. 
a little later than I planned because my alarm is going at 5.30. What I'm gonna do now is just try... I'm probably gonna watch some Penny Dreadful just to get in the mood of my program and then call it a night. So, good night. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, wish me luck. Good morning. 6 a.m. right now. I didn't sleep at all. Well, I slept, but I didn't sleep well. It took me ages to fall asleep. I felt so nervous. And I am a wreck, a dead woman, a zombie. But it's okay. I'm now uh, quickly going to brush my teeth, do my skincare routine, put on my clothes and grab my food. And then my friends, Kay, will be here to pick me up. And uh, it's time to go. <laughs> Okay guys, made my smoothie. The outfit is not the cutest, but it's all good. <laughs> this is just me trying to stay warm at the rink. And yeah, my friend Kaylin is here right now, so I'm, uh, I'm about to head out. All right, let's go.
as far as I can see, I just need privacy. Plus a whole lot of tree, fuck all this modesty. I just need space to do me, get a world what they're trying to see. A Stella Maxwell right beside of me. A Ferrari, I'm buying three. A closet of St. Laurent, get what I want when I want, cause this hunger is driving me. Yeah, I just need to be alone. I just need to be at home. Understand what I'm speaking on. If time is money, I need a loan. But regardless, I'll always keep keeping on. Fuck fake friends, we don't take L's, we just make M's. While y'all follow, we just make trends. I'm right back to work when that break ends. Yeah. Ooh, it's just me, myself, and I Solo ride until I die Cause I got me for life Got me for life, yeah. Ooh, I don't need a hand to hold Even when the night is cold I got that fire in my soul I don't need anything yeah. To get me through the night Except the beat that's in my heart Yeah, it's keeping me alive I don't need anything To make me satisfied My competition music. <laughs> uh, time for day two of competition day. Yeah. Oh my God.
talking to strangers. So get the fuck off Yay. me, I'm anxious. I'm trying to be cool, but I may just go apes. Just say fuck y'all to all of y'all faces. It changes though now that I'm famous. Everyone knows how to. Oh my gosh. First of all, I want to start by saying it was kind of an emotional roller coaster, and um, it was really hard to grab my camera during those vulnerable moments where I felt very nervous and anxious. I've learned so much from competing at California State Games because this was my first real big competition. The first day was the most nerve-wracking day for me because I got there really early to support my, um, my friends Kay and Justin um, and I was only skating at 5 p.m. and I woke up at 6 a.m. so there was this whole time that I had not that much to do simultaneously it was also really cold at the rink so my muscles were freezing it would also be the first time that I would be skating world-class uh, inline and that's the highest category that you can skate at when it comes to roller skating for all of you guys that don't know you have different categories you have categories like freestyle dance figures um, and uh, creative in those categories you obviously have different levels it depends on your level as well as your age and then you can obviously end first second third yada 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 world class is the highest category world class on saturday and i was only skating against one other inline girl that won nationals last year and i was just feeling really anxious because it was such a like almost like personal kind of thing you know that you're going against one skater and not against a group and I never met her so I was just kind of getting in my head about it and I didn't skate my program well I wasn't happy I didn't land any of my jumps and I ended second which yeah I was I was not happy about but it was a really good experience because I ended up meeting um, her and she was super sweet and a lot of like the nerves and anxiety kind of went away after that and I realized that you know I just kind of needed that experience for next time I will feel way less nervous and more relaxed because that's what happened today on Sunday I just knew that I would be skating for fun I had you know the hardest competition was already behind me the hardest event was behind me the world-class event and I ended up skating my creative I won gold which I'm very happy about and then for my freestyle I got silver and I didn't even care that I got second place like uh, this time it was really good because I was skating against seven other girls and they were all doing doubles they were all really great um, so I, I didn't even expect to end up second but the reason why I'm so happy about that performance it's not about the fact that I play, like place on the podium, but it's because I skated very well. I landed my double toe loop, which is the first time ever I've landed a double jump in a program. So I'm so happy about that. And I didn't fall. Yeah, I'm just very happy with how I skated, which is the best feeling. My last competition was less than a month ago. It was like the first competition of the season, but a lot of people didn't go to that competition. So it was kind of small, but that was less than a month ago. And the fact that I was able to land a double toe on one foot in less than a month. I just feel like that's that's really good. So yeah, that's just my little skate after, after skate <laughs> talk. And I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of my programs. My next competition is going to be in mid-March. Um, and then the next competition after that is going to be regionals for me. And that's the when the thing when it really counts because that's going to be placing me for nationals or not thank you all so much for watching i know this vlog was a little different very skate heavy but i just really wanted to document it as well follow me on my instagram which is lilylycom as well as my tiktok which is lilia kosakova if you want to see more like behind the scenes snapshots and stuff like that i am so tired you guys like you have no idea like i was there today from like 8.30 a.m. till now it's 10.30. It was worth these. <laughs>
Okay, now I'm going. I'm gonna go to bed. So love you guys and talk to you very soon. But I love it, the rush is amazing. Celebrate nightly and everyone rages. I found how to cope with my anger. So I'm swimming in money, swimming in liquor, my liver is muddy. But it's all good, I'm still sipping this bubbly. This shit is lovely. This shit ain't random, I didn't get lucky. Made it right here cause I'm sick with it, cutty. They all take the money for granted, but don't wanna work for it. Tell me now, isn't it funny?